Hey guys, welcome aboard Plasma 1945 spectating Red Star Resident Red Star Nomad taking off to do some hunting on the Enigma Cold War server. If you do like these videos where I'm sort of replaying and uh, telling you the story of what happened with a little bit of GCI background, let me know in the comments and I will continue cranking these out as well as let me know if you're interested in the not modern theme as well. In addition, there is going to be a small tack view debrief about the three fights you're going to see here, and there's going to be some comments along the way as well. We're also going to jump into some of the cockpit comms. Unfortunately, as I was doing the GCIing, my voice did not record, so you get to hear Nomad, you get to hear Resin and some of my commentary, but you won't hear me making the calls because, for whatever reason, technical difficulties just didn't show up. All right, first engagement, MiG-21 on the Red Force flying down into a whole heap of trouble. There are actually four aircraft plus one A-10 all coming and looking for him. And the A-10 flies by. There's also a Tomcat as well as Rez and Nomad. The MiG-21 is in a very good position to fire his radar guided missiles at a whole bunch of enemies but he does not get that opportunity and because again, as he comes through here he's going to defense. pop some flares and start to aggressively roll out. I merged with him? Yep, left turn. Resin spots the hostile and jumps onto a 6 o'clock. I'm going to have to turn with him. Now the MiG-21 can go fast but the F-86 like the MiG-15 is a little slower, but way more nimble and can really pull these turns. Now there's somebody. Oh, I got a Tomcat in here with us. And yes, guys, wait for the tack at the end of this video and you'll see just how many friendlies there were in that one little spot. F-86 is now in a good position. Ryzen's looking good. Sue. Oh shit, I see a missile down below. Shit, right off my nose. Okay, copy. Fox 2 out. It's tracking. Unfortunately, the MiG makes a sharp turn, blows chaff and flares, and blasts through. The way resins on him, it's gonna get real messy here. Watch this, Tomcat, and then an A10. Got anybody, uh... Oh shit! That fucking A10 just came across my nose too. Oosh. I see somebody shooting flares. Fox two from resin. Right up the tailpipe, the MiG-21 is in full afterburner, but at that close range, splash MiG-21, little F-86 wins. Did I get him? Good shit. I am Winchester. Alright, so has a good GCI. At this point, Resin's down two missiles, Nomad's down to one missile, their fuel's starting to get low. So I get them over to the nearest airbase for a nice joint landing together before they take off for another fight. You need to make sure as we are GCIing that you are always asking for status and reminding pilots of their fuel states. In many servers it actually pays to land and offload because that's when you get your points. Alright, now we're in with Nomad. He's got a Mirage F1 on his nose. Let's listen into the comms. As he's going. Two six zero coming left. Resin's on his left side, trying to vector in. You say fifteen. And I'm offsetting. Galley. I'm offsetting Res to get him into a position here, so that he can pincer this Mirage F1. That's right. You still want me two six zero? So I'm pushing Resin further left. Two five zero. Even more left. Mirage F1 is loaded for air to ground. Should be an easy kill. Oh, I got a tally right side of the ridges. Is that Nomad? And yes, it is. There's Nomad and there's the Mirage. I only see one contact descending along the valley. Is that you, Nomad? Descending down to the plains right now? Yeah, I'm in a left hand turn. I think I'm there's. This guy. Oh, I see you, Nomad. Okay, I've got him too. Nomad's got good tone. It's time for a kill. The Mirage is nice and slow. Gotta be careful. Fox 2. Merged. Running behind you, Nomad. Yeah, splash! Good kill. 
That was easy. Let's watch this in super slow motion from the missile's perspective. The Mirage of One's not making too much of a fuss here. Missile right up the tailpipe. Glorious explosion. Mirage F1 goes down in a blaze. All its air to ground ordnance goes down with it. Whenever you're in one of those merges and you see that there's a hostile on your six, you gotta drop that ordnance and start fighting. Guns, teeth, Fox 5, whatever it takes. All right, let's go to the third matchup. This is a resin looking for an SU-25. Oh, yep, I got him. SU-25 is high. Heading off to a target, Rez sneaks in, and this maneuver... I haven't broke him yet. Yeah, I haven't broke him yet. Shit, I just lost him in this fucking cloud. This is where the GCI tells him, yeah, he's parallel course, that's the direction of flow, there's the altitude. Cool oh, altitude. Right in front of you. Fox D from Resin. Bad Res didn't call, but he launched a missile. Doesn't matter. Time for super slow motion on the SU-25. Boom. Impact. SU-25 hit. Looks like at least one of its engines is down. Whatever yeah, happened there? Up. That SU-25 just broke up. Well done, Res. Thank, thank you. Airport. And of course, taking back to an airport because Res now out of missiles. All right, one more bonus fight. There's an SU-25 attacking ground targets below Resin. He's popping flares. All those flares that he popped after making his ground run got the F-86's attention. This was just before the Mirage fight with Nomad. I'm just putting in here as a bonus in the end. He's popping flares and going for a hit. Nomad is diving down on him right below firing guns. Passes right next to the SU-25. The SU-25 is heading and firing his weapons, but... He ends up taking Vulcan fire to the face and now he's out of control. All that he can do at this point is go vertical and eject. Resin went way too fast and decides to go and watch the show from up high. Alright guys, let's jump into the tag view and for those who watched this far, of course, thumbs up, like, share and let me know if you like these videos. Let's run th quickly through the tack views here. So we've got a resin and orange, we've got nomad and sign, and hostiles will be red. So this is the initial merge with a resin versus the uh, MiG-21. It's an interesting situation because we are close to the SAM ranges here, but also there's a lot of blue air force in the air. So let's take a look here. So we've got one Tomcat, one A-10, there's Nomad in lead, there's Resin Trail, and we've got an F5 mixed in. So it's a pretty busy environment. The trick here is not to get a friendly killed. And there's lots of targets for the MiG-21. So MiG-21 turns in, spots Nomad by the looks here, and then right here pops a lot of flares. Now all these flares coming off of the MiG-21 is what catches Resin's eye. Res spots the flares and settles in on the MiG-21's 6 o'clock. Drops his tanks to get maneuverability and sees the Tomcat blast through here. Nomad is coming in from the back, trying to get his eyes on this fight here. And as soon as Res fires the missile as Nomad rolls through, there's the launch. Nomad spots the launch on the MiG-21. Now, because Nomad is looking top down, it is much harder to see those hostiles. It's always much easier to see them against the sky. Now this launch here, Rez is trying to get onto that MiG-21. The MiG-21 is doing 538 knots. Rez is 470, so he's a bit slower, but here is the catch. At 5,000 feet, that is really kind of the max range for that AIM-9, unless that's a really slow bomber. And right here, the MiG-21 does a sharp turn and the missile just can't make that turn. It tries to pull what eight G's and it loses all of its energy and turns to garbage. So you really need to settle in on the six o'clock of that hostile to get those shots with the aim nine B's on the F-86s. So the MiG-21 flip flops and then makes his turn through resin in the F-86. If you guys watch here, look at the sharp turn 
whereas it literally just cuts right in and ends right behind that MiG-21. All he needs is another good shot here. So, right here, danger zone. Three friendlies run through Rez's HUD, including that A-10 that almost collides with Nomad's pulling up in the rear, getting ready to help out if required, but no need. As the MiG-21 starts to pull into the vertical, Rez fires an AIM-9B right up the tailpipe at only 2,000 feet range. If there was a lot of flares and no afterburner from this MiG-21, it might have saved him, but no avail. Hostile is splashed. We've got an Mirage F-1 coming in. Nomad's in lead. Rez's in trail by six nautical miles and uh, the Mirage F1 is coming in to hit some ground targets. Right here, Nomad is vectored in for the six o'clock. Resin's given a course of about 250, which should put him kind of over in this position here. And does it work out? The Mirage F1 starts his turn. Nomad literally just flies in, perfect turn, settles in on a six o'clock. And the Mirage is doing 569, Nomad is 564, the speed is the same, the range is 5,000 feet, easy shot, aim 9B into the tailpipe and splash. That was just perfect. In this case, if the hostile survived that, Nomad could have stayed on him and Rez was ready to turn in for a shot as well. All right, let's jump to the last one and that is the SU-25. Here's Rez. Here's the Su-25. Let's focus in on the Rez and uh, tag these two aircraft. I'm getting Rez to flow 180, making small corrections here as the Su-25 passes above them. I confirm altitude and here Rez spots the aircraft, goes up into the vertical. Bit of an overshoot. The Su-25 is traveling at 389. Rez is now cutting a speed down. Down here he was at almost 600 knots way up at the top here he is now down to 397 and with that little maneuver he's now settled in on the six o'clock of the su-25 with only five knots difference excellent maneuvering the su-25 picks him up range is 3000 feet speed is the same pops a couple of flares but that's not enough aim 9b into the tailpipe no maneuvering required and for whatever reason the su-25 experiences a full deconstruction and blows up very easy kills there guys not much to talk about all right so we're back in this is a very fast engagement here guys we've got an su-25 on the deck resin nomad split up again nomad is cyan resin is orange nomads and resin both spot the hostile who pops a lot of flares both aircraft kind of dive after him Nomad pops some rounds and peels out just as the Su-25 tries to make his run onto the targets. As he's shooting guns, he's being fired on and right here there is critical damage to the aircraft causing it to go out of control. The pilot ejects and that is that.